Dear friends, did you know that there is a possibility of Texas becoming an independent state? Yes, it's true. Similar to Scotland, Quebec, or Catalonia, the United States also has movements for independence. Presently, there is a dispute between the Texas government and the Biden administration over the control of the Texas border with Mexico, which has heated up the situation. So, what is happening on the Texas border that is fueling an independence movement? And why does Texas want to take control of its borders by itself? Texas gets one step closer to leaving U.S. The Texas Republican Party's executive committee is set to vote over the weekend on which ballot propositions voters will decide during the Republican primary elections in March 2024. One measure would ask Republican voters, should the state of Texas reassert its status as an independent nation? A tense standoff between law enforcement agencies is unfolding just meters from the Mexican border, causing nationwide concern. This marks the latest chapter in the ongoing conflict over border security between Texas's Republican governor, Greg Abbott, and Democratic President Joe Biden. The situation is reminiscent of a scene from a Western movie, with the U.S. Border Patrol on one side, operating under federal authority, and the Texas National Guard and officers from the state's Department of Public Safety, DPS, on the other side. The location of this face-off is Eagle Pass, a city situated on the banks of the Rio Grande, known as Rio Bravo in Mexico, a notorious hotspot for undocumented immigrant crossings. Although no weapons have been drawn, tensions remain high, and the outcome of this confrontation is yet to be seen. This drama is taking place in a country that is deeply divided and on the brink of a presidential election, making the stakes even higher. In 2021, Governor Abbott of Texas, who is a Republican, started Operation Lone Star to counter the rise in unlawful border crossings. This involved the Texas National Guard, the DPS, and other security agencies to strengthen border defenses. Governor Abbott saw this operation as a response to the perceived lack of action from the Biden administration regarding the immigration crisis, which led to initial tensions between state and federal forces. Although hostility was brewing, the first significant clash took place in the autumn of 2023. By this time, the Texas National Guard had already installed over 70,000 rolls of barbed wire in and around Eagle Pass, a city on the banks of the Rio Grande. The Border Patrol had consistently expressed their concerns that these barriers hindered their operations on the river. Despite numerous warnings, federal officers began to dismantle the concertina wire without the consent of the Texan government. In a burst of fury, the government led by Abbott filed a lawsuit against the Border Patrol. The lawsuit resulted in a temporary restraining order being granted that prevented federal agents from cutting the barbed wire. Additionally, the government decided to block their access to the new fortifications partially. On January 10th, state forces took full control of Shelby Park, a park in Eagle Pass, which includes a boat ramp used by federal forces for surveillance and rescue operations on the Rio Grande. Legally speaking, the decision of the governor is illegal since the Border Patrol has the responsibility of monitoring the entire U.S. border. After a series of appeals and court decisions, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned a restraining order issued by a lower court on January 22. The ruling allowed federal agents to continue dismantling barbed wire in Shelby Park. However, Texas forces are denying them access, despite the country's highest court's decision. The state government's reasons for continuing the blockade have turned a tense confrontation into a rebellion. The duel taking place in Shelby Park holds great symbolism. The park is named after Confederate General Joseph Orville Shelby, who led the pro-slavery side in the U.S. Civil War, 1861-1865.
After their defeat, General Shelby and his troops fled to Mexico, sinking their battle flag in the Rio Grande to prevent it from being captured by the enemy. Recently, following the Supreme Court's decision, Texas Governor Abbott released a statement claiming that Texas has the right to control its border because the federal government has broken the compact between the United States and the states. This term is very similar to the secession declarations of the southern states during the Civil War. Abbott argues that what is happening at the border constitutes an invasion. The governor of Texas has cited a clause in Section 10 of Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution that grants exceptional powers to states in case of invasion. However, many experts argue that the concept of invasion in the Constitution refers to a military invasion, which is not the case with illegal immigration. The implications of this challenge against Biden are unpredictable and assert that the U.S. federal government no longer has control over a part of its own borders. At this point, it's time to clarify the situation for those expecting a shootout. The Biden administration has been cautious in its response to the border issue. The headlines are not favorable to Biden, as the number of people crossing the border without documentation has more than doubled since the Trump era, reaching record levels. In December, there were 302,034 illegal crossings into the U.S., and Texas alone saw 125,161 arrests, with most of them taking place in the Rio sector, where Eagle Pass is located. Biden is more interested in de-escalating this. Biden has promised to close the border if his immigration plan is approved by Congress, which has been stalled in the House due to Republican opposition. This represents a shift towards increasingly popular anti-immigrant positions in the country. Even in the absence of a direct clash between security forces, violence can emerge from anywhere in a country as polarized as this. This is particularly true during the election period, where Trump and the majority of Republican leaders are spreading theories about the invasion of migrants and its impact on the elections and about whether Texas will secede from the Union, don't worry. These ideas come up from time to time and likewise disappear. These movements do not necessarily reflect the opinions of all Texas residents. It is a topic that continues to be the subject of debate and discussion.